Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Pokey Gems. Another fun, easy drawing tutorial. Guys, this one looks hard, but trust me, I will make it look easy. Before we get started, guys, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, give me a like, guys. That way you won't miss out on any future videos if you're subscribed to my channel. All right, guys, today we are drawing the Celtic Knot. How is this possible, guys? I'm going to do it on graph paper to make it so easy for you. All right, get a piece of graph paper, get a marker, Sharpie, or any other kind. And as you see, I'm drawing dots, basically, with large squares, kind of four by four. So count away every four, four across and four down. So basically, you'll have kind of a larger section. And when you're done, you'll pretty much end up with a pattern like this. So you'll have four by four. All right, now if you look inside there, in between those dots, you're gonna make another dot. Now these, to make your life a lot easier when you do this drawing, make these a little bit darker or make them bigger. So the other thing you could do is use a very fine marker for the first dots and then maybe a thicker marker for these. All right, now from the inside, the middle dot, you see those dots that are just outside of it? You're gonna come from here and kind of hook around the larger line. I mean larger dot. Again, come around and hook around it. Do this all four times. Go around and hook. Basically everything we're gonna do here, we're gonna repeat the pattern four times. Hook it around. That's it. That's the start of your Celtic knot. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do after that is we're going to start from this thick dot and you're going to come around four dots. So you're going to go out straight to the corner down. So basically out to the corner, make a 90 degree corner down. So down corner and then straight just like that. Again, from the large dot down to the corner straight and then out. And let's do it again for the fourth one. Start with the big, thick dot. Like so. Out to the corner, straight across. That's it. I think that was pretty easy. All right, guys. Make sure you're all caught up. Now you're going to make almost like a circle inside there. You're going to go underneath and circle. Under your little hook and circle. Now keep going, you're gonna do this four times, so it's almost gonna look like there's a circle there. Now once again, you're gonna go underneath and circle. And for the fourth time, under your hook and circle. So if you look at it, it almost looks like you did your first pattern and then you've almost got like a kind of a semi-circle underneath it. And that's kind of the whole point of the Celtic knot. Next, you're gonna make kind of a woven or a weave pattern. You're gonna go straight, straight across. Again, straight down, and once again, straight across. And again, straight down, and straight across. So you see kinda how you're forming a weave pattern? Straight across. And once again, you're joining the center, straight across. All right, guys, that part's done. Now what you could do after you're done with those is you're gonna color these guys in right here. So all, all those places where you went around that nice, darker, fat dot, you're gonna color those in. So basically, you're gonna end up with pretty much like nine really thick, fat dots in the middle of your pattern. So join those and color in the dots. Join those, color in the dots. All right, you're pretty much done with the drawing. Now this part I think is super important guys. This is the shading. Use a regular pencil guys, use a crayon, use use a light marker. I chose to use my charcoal pencil and what you're gonna do is in each of the areas where the knot kinda goes underneath the other section, you're gonna make it a little bit darker and then you're gonna use kind of a graded tone going from darker to lighter. And you'll see in a second as I do my smudging, that's how I'll do it. So when you're done with it, basically it's gonna look like there's a shadow underneath it, you know, like a, and then fainter as it comes out. And guys, I think this really gives you that illusion of, of depth. 
you know, when you when you draw this Celtic knot, it turns out just fine the way it is. But I think if you do this properly and you really spend your time, um, I'm just kind of doing this really quickly, guys, but really spend your time on this. You know, I don't want this video to be forever long, but if you really spend your time on making it really dark, kind of in that area where the where the dot is and then going from dark to medium to light, almost a faint out to zero. It literally looks like this knot is coming off of the paper. So guys, like I said, spend your time on this. Do this, do this really, really well. And I think I think it'll really give you that illusion of depth. Alright guys, we're almost there. A couple more to go. Basically, you're pretty much doing every single area, you know, across where your dark dot is. And that's the part that's going to be dark. And then kind of really, like I said, fading graded tone from dark into the light. Alright, that's pretty much it on that part. And now what you'll do, guys, is you're going to take your smudging cloth. I use a smudging cloth. You can use a piece of regular cloth. You could even do this with your finger. Cotton swabs work awesome. Maybe even a cotton ball. And really take your time here. And like I said, you're just going to smudge pretty much from darker into lighter. So just to give it that illusion of depth and, and really make it look like it's going underneath. So spend your time on this, guys. Take some time uh, doing this, smudging this. And uh, the more time you spend on this, I think the better this will look and the more depth this will give you. And like I always tell you guys in the past, if you are using that charcoal pencil, don't worry too much if you are going over. This thing is really, really easy to erase. Um, you can even do the, the original drawing just in pencil and then go over it with, with marker later. You guys have seen my drawings before. I do that a lot of times where I start out with pencil and then do it with marker. And then it's obviously even easier to erase. And then like I said, guys, just use your eraser. Go over any parts that you might have went over. Um, what I like to do when I erase, you know, all those shavings from the eraser, um, I have a nice clean dry brush that I use because if you kind of smudge it away with your hand, you know, you take a risk of smudging it too far. Uh, this is a little trick I use also. Use a really thin ruler, you know, put it down right there and then use that ruler to give you a really nice crisp line. Guys, if you liked this video, check out other videos that I have, guys. Um, I post videos here on YouTube pretty much every single day teaching you guys awesome art you know really using different materials giving you guys different tricks on different art check out this awesome other one that really makes it pop off the page guys when you when you're done it just showed up in the corner there guys i think we're almost done with this one look at this just using a marker using a pencil charcoal pencil a ruler and an eraser look how cool you could make this pattern look you could do it on paper you could do it on graph paper guys that is it please don't forget to hit subscribe check out my tiktok check out my instagram and facebook we post pictures there every single day guys i also have a website www.pokegems.com where you can get my merchandise i also tell you about where you can get all the materials markers pencils that i have and guys if you haven't done so please hit that subscribe button and i will see you on the next one